Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee, we have an exciting professional grappling match coming up next. One 10-minute round in the 185-pound division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, coming in 5 feet 10 inches tall, fighting out of Alabama, giving up for Christian, the Vanilla Gorilla Heckles. His adversary, ladies and gentlemen, in the red corner, standing six feet even, fighting out of Westwood, Memphis, Tennessee, representing law school MMA, give it up for Danny, the left hand to God, Barlow! Third man in charge of the action, Mr. Chad Washburn. One 10 minute round, Memphis, Tennessee, let's get it on! Here we go. Christian Eccles, Danny Barlow. Would love to see this fight in an MMA fight, but right, we got grappling yeah. here. Look at the size. Danny Barlow fights at 170. He is a massive guy for 170. Yeah, really big for that welterweight division. Long. And like you said, probably the best prospect in that weight division that's not in the UFC right now. Yeah, I mean, he really is undefeated fighter. I believe he's at 6-0. and oh. Christian Eccles, I think he's 5-2 and two mixed martial arts fighter, especially coming off with the possibly the upset of the year against Pat Downey and Bellator MMA, not getting a contract out of it, which is kind of outrageous. See the athleticism on Danny Barlow right there. Side step. It's just kind of like an ole. Yeah. I like the fit, too. Yeah, that, those, that new gear. Man, of, that looks good. It does. I, it looked K.O. Cone uh, designed. <laughs> they probably had K.O. Cones in mind when they did it. Well, that's a nice little arm drag, but he didn't follow it up. He just kind of tossed him. Look at the size of the legs of the vanilla Eccles. gorilla. Got it straight across his legs. There's a lot of power in that ring, that cage right now. It is. I know so Brian great. Hall gets a lot, get their guys working a lot of wrestling. You can see yeah, the I mean, wrestling. They're, uh, we're still in that real feeling out process here. Yeah, you know, that's what they're doing right now. They're trying to get a feel for what the other one's looking to do. I was just going to ask, when would be a good time to shoot? I mean, because eventually, I mean, that's what you so, want to so, do. To so here's the thing right. about that, though. You know, you don't really know what your opponent's game is here. We haven't seen either one of these guys really in a grappling-type match like this. So if you shoot in and then he forces you to fall back and pull guard or he counters with the sprawl yeah. or, you know, can put you in his So you're saying maybe that's what game. he wants, yeah. Correct. So these <laughs> guys know. right now, they're trying to kind of feel each other out and maybe get a feel for what the other one's trying to do so that then they can put their game plan into effect that will counter that game plan. Well, and a lot of times, if we're going to ask answer your question specifically, gosh, both these guys, Christian Ethical is athletic too. Yeah. yeah. But if you're going to answer it, to answer that question uh, to be 100% <laughs> specific, a good time to go for a takedown is when you start recognizing patterns. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, like if you see Danny Barlow, okay, so right there, Christian Eccles on time and time again is reaching for that collar. He's reaching for that collar. That might be Pop a good time. Shoot. That might be a good time as he's reaching to duck under for that takedown every time he reaches for that collar. Yeah. Eccles tried to come in on a single there. It's a good job by Danny, kind of turn the underhook and turn him and get him against the cage. I think Brian Hall just listened to my advice right there. Right, 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 right. <laughs> So he needs to reach him, maybe he could pop that arm up and go low. Or just change levels. You change can change le levels and go for a takedown. But, but I mean, like they're both so athletic. It's hard. Right. Seems like. Yeah, I mean, it's good arm Christian drag. Here, like be the shorter guy, you know, easier, easier for him to get in, maybe. You, you would think so, but listen, the taller guys do a great job of countering all that uh, stuff, too. Sprawling. So you shoot, yeah, and he sprawls on you. I mean, <laughs> Danny's got some hips now. We've <laughs> yeah, seen yeah. him. I'd really like to see – Danny could use this as a good learning experience. I, I want to see him off of his back because he's so athletic. It's not going to happen there, and so when he gets into an MMA fight, if right. he does get on his back, this would be a great learning use experience. Use this as right a time here. to work. Correct. I'd love to see that because Danny Barlow is the prospect. He is the future. Right. Then you got that winning drive where I'm going to do what I exactly. do to win. And, and, you know? and, 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 yeah, listen, easier said than done. Like, trust me. Right. It sounds like maybe they've got a little strategy here. We're yeah. listening in to kind of what Brian's telling him. You know, they're looking at maybe talking about when the halfway point gets here to maybe start to open the game up. 
lot of just, you know, collar ties going on here. But this is, remember when we were talking about earlier, both of these guys lead it head to head. When we were talking about early in grappling, when you know people are on a different level, they're leading head to head instead of going ear to ear. Mm. Both these guys are going head to head, yeah. so they're never, yeah. nobody is either, neither one of them is giving up the head position battle. Eccles has gone for that throw by a couple of times as well, but Danny's just so athletic, he's having a really hard time hitting him with it. Two on one on the uh, wrist. Yeah, I mean, go. that's, you know, that's what I would kind of like to see from here is maybe a little bit more tie up, you know, try to get on the, go on the wrist, get on the controlling arm, get off to one side, you know, maybe change something up because head to head here, you know, we're not getting a lot of action from them either way. Both of them are doing a great job of countering the other. The one thing is here is that Danny Barlow hasn't really gone for anything yet. It, yeah. He's just playing a lot of defense. Christian Correct. Eccles is going for some yeah. of the takedowns, but not coming close. Yeah, there he is. He's been on a double leg. Good, good sprawl by Danny, but he's falling up against the cage. He's Danny good got those underhook and in. trying to turn him. Yeah. yeah, nice job there. Wow, power. Yeah, I think the whole cage shook on that. Cage really helped Danny Barlow there, though, too. It really did. But, yeah. I mean, the athleticism. He was in deep on the hips for sure. Danny's up. So, behind the scenes, the UFC recruiters want to see Danny do more grappling in BJJ matches. I believe he signed up for one next month. So, um, I believe the next guy, possibly UFC guy, is a grappler. So that's what they want to see. There we go. I Full love that guard. out of Danny. I love that right now. Danny knows he needs to work his ground game, show it off at the next level. And so he's good Good recovery. Yeah, good hips there. Nice job. Went to knee shield and then got him back to close guard. 335. So did Danny pull guard? He did. So yeah, guard, how would yeah. the points work with None. that? Zero. No points, okay, yeah. No yeah. Points. Pull, pulling guard in a grappling match is. He could shoot a high triangle right there if he tried to, but. It's considered a neutral position, so nobody gets any points either way. But if he gets in the dominant position after he pulled guard, Correct. that's a point. Correct. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, then he could start from a scoring position at that point. Christian Eccles just throw to, uh, arm across the throat, just making it uncomfortable a little bit. I'd like to see Danny open up and try and hit some scrambles right there, come out, come out on top. I know he's got the ability to. Three minutes left in there, trying to pry open that guard, watching Reaching out for through, the triangle. throwing up the triangle. Good job by both countering there. Hey, once, he, once he goes double under, let's, let's go headless uh, triangle. He's going to throw a double under right here. Body lock, he's going to take that, maybe possibly underneath the butt cheeks and go, nope, he's just jumping with the body lock, hopping to the other side. Dane's got a frame and shrimp here, frame and shrimp. And that cross face, that's where it really needs to settle in, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but good job by Danny, man. He's really good hips there. Nice job of getting his guard back. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen Eccles get more on the cross face there to finish that. Yeah. Would that be an advantage? Yeah, yeah, yeah you would have got an advantage there in, in an IBJJF style tournament, yeah. Yeah, because it was a close pass. Give me another attack, though. Give me another attack. Yeah. Danny Barlow could open up really right now and push that head down of Eccles. Yeah, which he, he's trying to do. Yeah, if he pushes the push, pushes the crown of the head down. Easier said than done, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He sees yeah. the size of this vanilla Especially gorilla. With a gorilla. <laughs> vanilla gorilla. Yeah. I the love it. A gorilla. That's the best fight name. I've ever. never seen a picture where he didn't have a busted up. Seems pretty evenly matched to me. I mean, both guys strong, good movement. Yeah. Yeah, Danny's trying to throw up some dynamic triangles there, but he, he, Eccles is just kind of like a step ahead of him there, you know. He's, yeah. He's keeping two in, this two out. This is blue, blue belt versus brown belt. Trying for the throw by pass. 
Hips down. Just sitting down on it. Oh, switching Nichols to Kimura is here. He is heavy. Yeah. Denny's come on back out on that roll. Yep. Now he's on the back. Kind of you know, yeah, but kind of surprised Eccles there kind of, yeah, Eccles kind of like stood up with that. I, you know, well, I mean, what, what sure. do we know that, that Kimura needs to be that, you know, you know, his tricep to your chest and Correct. stay low. Correct. He kind of yeah. just ripped from there, maybe trying yeah. to use that vanilla granola. I mean, it looked, it looked pretty, but, you know, it's going to have a hard time finishing. Last there. 20 seconds of the match. Fun little exchanges. And maybe it's just kind of like throwing it yeah. out the air. Yeah. yeah. And Danny was going to throw by there. I like to see a flying dragon triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Switch on the double here. Up against the cage, picks him up. Oh, Good right, job by right. Danny, though. I mean, really, there, he was turn. even controlling the cross space there. So. That was a really fun grappling match. Dana yeah, Barlow, yeah, yeah. Christian Eccles. I mean, of, listen, if this is going by a point system, I mean, th this is not what they're here for. They're here to get the work on the ground, show it off at the next level. Right. But if this isn't a traditional scoring system, well, you got to go – Christian yeah, Eccles, Eccles, right? Eccles would have won the match, yeah. yeah. Let's see if the I believe they are Ladies scored. and gentlemen, after 10 minutes of grappling action, we go to our referee for a final decision. Referee Chad Washburn awards this bout to our winner, the blue corner, Christian the Vanilla Gorilla Eccles. All right, I'm here with your winner, Christian Eccles. Now, I'm disappointed. The crowd's disappointed. I'm sure you're disappointed that the main event MMA fight versus T Cummings, T. Cummings did not materialize. But one thing we know about you, possibly the biggest upset of the year, Bellator MMA knocking out Pat Downey. I watched that fight live. It was unbelievable. Never got a contract out of it. Damn shame. But what is next for you? Are we going to try and set up another rematch with the experiment? Or are we looking past here? What is next for Christian Nichols? Uh, man, honestly, like, right now I'm on a four-fight win streak. All first-round finishes. I work constantly. That's what I do for a living at this point. I train. And, uh, man, I'm trying to get to the big show. So if T, if T wants to do it, we can do it. I talked to him a little bit earlier, and, like, I feel like maybe 205 might be his division probably. Having them problems with a weight cut, but I have a, I have no bad blood towards the guy, but cut a little promo for the ground. Listen, boys, all these 85ers out here running, come get the smoke. LFA, Bellator, either one of y'all, give me a call. And I'll smoke whoever you got. Now, I do need to ask about that next level because to me it was a shame that we, we're not seeing you there right now especially after brutalizing Pat Downey, which absolutely, if you guys not watch, go check it out. I'm sure it's on YouTube, right? Have we gotten any calls from those major organizations? What was the excuse on why you don't have that Bellator contract right now? Man, they really didn't tell me a whole lot. They, uh, you know, I knocked him out. They was all happy. Texted me at Christmas time. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, it was just Christmas. It wasn't Thanksgiving. But anyways, you know, happy holidays. And I was like, oh, here soon. Never heard nothing, so... I'm not really, mad. I'm not butthurt about it, I'm not mad about it. I am. I mean, it would have been nice, but I want to earn my way there. So when I get that first contract, it's not like, ah, he had a lucky shot or some shit, you know. I want to be legit. I want to maybe win two or three more, UFC or Bellator, whichever one. Well, what we were saying at Case Shad, you got big tuna there, too. He didn't get that contract. Hey, what happens when you guys knock out their golden boys? Maybe they're not too happy about it. But anyways. Do we have any other fights set up right now for Christian Eccles? We don't, but I will say Dylan Buka could get the smoke. He's about to fight for the LFA title. And I don't think he's worth a shit, to be honest with you. We'll end it with that. Give it up, your winner, Christian Eccles. <laughs>